Hello and welcome back in my miniature painting hobby area. Today I want to talk about three different approaches how you can handle paints for the miniature painting. So this here are the three approaches that I want to present. The, the first one is you just get one color and buy every gradient of the color. This is a great approach if you, for example, want to paint armies and have a consistent color matching over a whole army, for example. So if you depend on um, that you get the color right every time, this can be a great approach. Uh, but as you can see, you will buy a little bit more paint um, than you will buy in the other two um, approaches. So the, uh, it doesn't matter which type of colors, I just had the bottles like this, um, uh, the paint brand uh, doesn't matter in this case. So the second approach is you just buy a base color, for example, this uh, deep blue or a lighter blue, and then you can mix in a uh, white and black. So you can make your layering colors uh, directly on your palette. And th the benefit is that you um, have to buy very few colors. So here I've got the base colors, but um, that's a different approach. Uh, here you can perhaps buy one green, one red, uh, one blue, and every base color that you need, and you can just um, create gradients on the fly. Of course, for that approach, you perhaps uh, will need a red palette so that you can uh, work with the paints a little bit longer. So if you do some mistakes on the miniature that you can overpaint with the mixed colors, that's really important if you, uh, because in that case, it's probably so that you can't mix the exact color matches again because uh, the color also dries a little bit different on the miniature than, uh, than the color looks when you mix it. And it's quite difficult to match, mix the exact color in that case. But if you, for example, um, paint single miniatures or paint miniatures for board games, or for role playing to um, uh, impersonate uh, the figures on the table, then this is a great approach because it's cheap, you don't need much paint. And uh, if the uh, single miniatures differ a little bit in color, I, in my opinion, it gives, uh, gives it a nice touch and some character. And uh, the third approach, in my opinion, a, a good approach is you just buy some base colors. So if you know a little bit about a color theory, and that's what I want to show. Um, if I take some of the colors, uh, they are not mixed now, but for me, most time it will work uh, like this without mixing very much. So if I take the base colors, um, you perhaps heard about a color theory in school or something like that. And if I now take um, a brush and just get some of the colors and mix them together, you will see, uh, okay, I need more yellow. So you can uh, create the gradient and uh, yellow is always a problem because it, it hasn't got so much pigment in it. So here I get the uh, orange then of course, and uh, let's do another one. If I just take a little bit here, I can get a nice, uh, a, a nice purple. And the other one should be green. Um, I think you get the idea. So if I do it like that, I can then create almost every color from these base colors. And um, But uh, what I would recommend is uh, if you uh, want to give this approach a try uh, with just the base colors and mixing them, it can be really fun to do it like that. But in my opinion, you should add a little bit more colors um, like uh, the things that you need all the time. Um, for leather, I would buy some, uh, some brown because brown is a little bit um, difficult to mix. 
I would also uh, buy a flash color and perhaps uh, get a green. Uh, so uh, because green you use uh, quite often in my opinion. And so if you add this three, um, you have a nice start. And um, one additional thought. So if you add then a wash and some gold, then you've got uh, one of the army painter starter sets here. So. Um, that's also the set that you can buy from the D&D line uh, that has exactly uh, like the same uh, colors in it. And in my opinion, it's also a great and fun way to work with the miniatures and uh, do the colors on your own. Yeah, so miniature painting doesn't need to be very expensive and you doesn't need hundreds of colors or this big uh, total sets where you get uh, really much colors, like over 100 colors in it, uh, you can just approach the hobby uh, with very, very uh, low and uh, yeah, very few colors and also achieve great results with it. Yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you give uh, one of these other methods a try and have fun painting and bye.